on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy ECO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, Madel. Man, Walmart. we got a special guest in here today, y'all. You don't really need no introduction, man. Everywhere you look and hear the sound, you hear the sound, but the tag go hard too, man. Mm-hmm. Everybody, man, I say, man, you know, Double A, they say, man, I know that tag, man. This nigga be working, man. Yeah, for check sure. it out, man. My boy Double A's in the building, man. What's going on? How y'all feeling? Man, thank mm-hmm. you for coming on our platform, man. I appreciate man. y'all for having me. Man, hey, man, just. Man, you in Dallas, Texas, baby. This is my first song. Get I'm, the hell out of here and look how we did it. I'm trying we bring to him in. Listen, I'm always in Houston. You know what I'm saying? For real? Get my teeth done and all of that. Yeah. But I never came See, to everybody Dallas. Everybody go to Houston. I can't stand it. Well, it's cool. It's Houston cool. is all right, man. But, Houston mm. is dope. Don't get me it's wrong. It's all right. Man, I like Dallas that killer nigga on on third on Sky Street. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> when I, I was young, I was crazy. Yeah. I was in Houston. Houston is where the money be at, man. For sure, man. Yeah, like I, no, that's true. them niggas be pulling up, don't yeah, they? A different sure. kind of money is there yeah. than it is here. What you mean? Different kind of money, more business out nigga, here. Don't forget the Cowboys here. Stop playing. <laughs> you niggas better not do this. Uh, Sam Walton, daughter, live in Fort Worth, nigga. Okay. Don't play, nigga. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. That's why. I had different kind of money. A lot okay. of musicians mainly go to Houston. We got them country, them, them boys with the horses. Man, you know? facts, facts, facts. But Houston, like, like when you go over by the gallery, you see all the all the foreigns and everything mm-hmm. out there. And, but if you go down on Lemon, nigga, we got it too. So mm-hmm. it's, it's that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to you got to yeah. check us out, man. Don't come down here talking about you ain't coming back, nigga. So after yeah. the show, after the show, I'm you know so I'm trying to hit the city or something. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to. You got you know to. You got to. You got to be sure. downtown. Then you got to, you know, don't, don't let me start peeling off. You got to give the youngster, nigga, mm-hmm. my son, nigga. They know what's up. They'll tell you what, everything's I'm going to take to the on. old spot, nigga. Everybody going to be chilling while I take you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, let's get into it, man. Like, being from Florida. Yep, so, so just, Florida. just, just, I know how you want to yeah, do it. I, I ain't going to disrespect, you yeah. know. Because for me, being a female, I love to know your history. I, I need to know where you're from, how you grew up, everything like that. Because a person can hear your music, mm. but they fall more in love with your craft and you when they find out your struggles. They find out, you know, how you really made it to where you are today. So that's what we want our listeners to know. Most do. Tell most me do. about single parent ho- household. Oh, yeah, most do. You know, I grew up at the time... Till about the age of 12, mm-hmm. my parents got divorced. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So having my dad around, that was more so like, kind of like my whole upbringing for me, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? He was really like the person who guided me to like do music and all of that. So mm-hmm. um, once he left, that's when I kind of started spiraling out of control. And how old were you when he left? Like 10. 10. Yeah, 10. Yeah. So So you remember all of that? Oh, yeah, most. It was Christmas night. No. When a nigga yeah. just up and left. That sounded nah, like something it, in the movies. My it, dad it left was, at 9, so nigga, you got yeah. one year on me. Don't try to act. We in the same yeah, boat. So <laughs> he came. It was Christmas night. You know what I'm saying? He came, and he was like, look, I'm getting ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Either you can come with me or you can stay with your mama. And you didn't say I'm coming? Because, you know, at the time I was 10, so yeah. my mama crying in the room. I'm like, I'm going to just stay with her. I ain't know that you he You the was, only one? Nah, How so I was the oldest. So I had me, my brother J, uh, J-Lock, and my sister Portia. Okay, uh, We How all far? Four, four years apart. Okay, Everybody. so they don't really remember so, a lot of So, you know what I'm saying? Stuff. He was six and yeah. she was two. You so know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to just stay with her. Stay you know, with them, Because yeah. I didn't think that he was going to leave and stay away. So he left, went to Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Military stuff and all of that. And Do you I, hate Christmas after that? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I ain't got no, nah, they ain't got nothing to do with, with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's when school, mm-hmm. like, started getting, you know what I'm saying? It was slacking and yeah. street, you know you what I'm saying? Them, stuff them wings, that. you didn't get the pro wings. You yeah. didn't get your Converse was a little mm-hmm. more dirtier yeah. than the other niggas because yeah. you couldn't get it like them. You feel me? So yeah, it get hard when when, when, the, when double incomes leave. It's just one. Facts. I did that, so I know it, it's a little different. Then you got to call so, the nigga, try to see where he at. Man, you going to bring me something? Mm-hmm. Did so you he have, was totally out of your life at that time? No, 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 no. So he would, you know, my dad, you know, we all grew up in the church, right? Yeah. Okay. That's how they raised us. Mm-hmm. So he, I would still see him. I would still talk okay. to him. But it wasn't like he was there. Like, he was my basketball coach, my baseball coach. He was the nigga that taught me That's how to, dope. you know what I'm saying, to, to play drums, do anything, music. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when he left, 
all of that just kind of like went out the window. Wow. Motivation. And I started and all of going, that. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of just went and did whatever else other people in my. You know, the right. street side yeah. of the family. Yeah. Outside. Outside. You know outside. Outside. So you're looking like, for that father figure out in the streets. Yeah, really. you know what I'm saying? So my older cousins, you know what I'm saying? I would always want to be around them, but my dad was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? So when he left, you my were. mom couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I started doing whatever I was doing, and that's what happened. But I always had the fear, like, you know what I'm saying, of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, doing whatever it was like I didn't want to get a whipping so subconsciously yeah. what would I do if he was here here yeah. you know what I'm saying so cause he a military nigga you know what I'm yeah. saying so yeah. like he real strict and stern so I was just like you know what let me not get too far off the rails you know what I'm saying cause That's at good. the end of the day I still talk to this man yeah. you know what I'm saying so it got to the point where I got too out of control and, and he heard about it yeah and then I moved with him and oh. I was like How old were you then? I had to be like 15, 16 yeah, I was so, getting ready to graduate So you had a five years To just do whatever you want to do really. Yeah You yeah. know what I'm saying Until it was about to, I was about to go to jail And they knew The judge knew my dad Because they oh. went to school together So yeah. they Lucky. was like Look You know what I'm saying Like where your daddy at I know his family They real church people They woot the woot Like you going off the rails like this So his mom, my mom was like Look Let him go off to school You know what I'm saying With his dad and you'll never hear from him again. And that was like the turning point for me to like, I could be whoever I wanted to be. I didn't mm -hmm. have to be street no more. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I went off to Tennessee. Nobody knew who I was. So I was like, I'm cool. And we ain't have gangs in Florida. But when we got to Tennessee with my my, my brother Mike Lar, it was like bloods. And I'm like, what Lahr. the hell is going on here? You know what I'm saying? So I never really had the the... Did you get in trouble down the there? Itch? Nah, hell no. Nah. Cause your dad. What? <laughs> he wasn't trying to hear it, just I like my dad. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't going for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember Mike used to come, come get me. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the little party. Let's go out, and <laughs> he'll pull up, and I'll be cutting the grass. <laughs> like bro, I can't even go. Like dang, bro. Like we knew about this two weeks ago. Like nah, dad, so I got to cut the grass. You know what I'm saying? But that is what made me who I am today. You know mm. everything. You know what I'm saying? But by being with him, he kind of like made me a man, and you know what I'm saying made certain things. Tell happen me for something me. that he instilled in you, like you know how men try to give a life lesson to their child. To mm -hmm. Something that stuck with with you for till now. Yeah, man. Honestly, that hustle. You know what I'm saying. I remember he told me. He said a couple things to me that kind of killed me. Like one of the worst things he told me was, he was like, "Son, you like bubble gum on the side of the street on a hot summer day." I was like, "What does that mean?" So I told my mom, he was like, he's trying to say, like, you a leech. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You try to hold on to people and you try to get stuff. I was like, I ain't know about that. But what he was trying to tell me was, what you need to do is, like, hustle and get your own. Don't rely on nobody else. So he used to tell me, like, look, uh, Dad, can I go somewhere? He'd be like, no. And after a while, I'd be like, well, if I can get to it, you know, get to that place, can I go? Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, cool. Well, Dad, can I get this, these sneakers? Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, I got them. Like, how did you get the sneakers? Well, I worked. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. Same time you had me cutting these grasses, you know what I'm saying, these yards, I was out here doing the same thing next door. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the neighborhood. So I got my own money, got my own hustle. So that's really one of the, the hardest things that, I feel like men now, they don't understand because they try to learn that from the streets, but then they kind of, you know, they get they get lost in the mm -hmm. sauce when you can kind of learn from that father figure that you got. You know what I'm saying? That's like, one thing I think was very similar in my life where, um, you know, as a kid, you wanted to go somewhere. My parents were strict as well. And just like how he said you knew two weeks ago that, you know, we were supposed to go out. Yeah. I wouldn't even ask because I know that I'm going to hear a no, so I'm not even going to ask. Facts. But if you really, really wanted to go, you're going to figure out a way to make it happen. You know what Fact. I mean? Whether how you ask you, just like you said, you figured out other ways to make it work out because they want to make sure that you really, really want this. Most of And that's really what parents want to know. Because we kids, we, they ask 2,400 things every day. Yeah. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. You get tired. Do you have kids? I got one. See how old? Ten. So you saw the kind of no. Yeah. You know, and you get tired Almost of hearing. Deaf. Yeah, you. I want this. See it on TV. I want this. I want that. But 
it don't make no sense to keep giving them everything. Mm-hmm. It's going to make them spoil. Well, life not going to give them everything. That's See, that's, that, that's one thing you can understand. Whatever you try to instill in them, it's cool. But when life take them by the throat, mm-hmm. by the chest, and say, "Nigga, come here," mm-hmm. see, life don't do you like 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 parents do you. Life really give you if you really push them out there like the eagle do. Oh man, or the or the chicken or whatever, or throw them out the nest, man. Yeah. I guarantee you, life gonna make them. You gonna get what's coming out of them. It's coming. That's facts. That's <laughs> so facts. That's life a better facts. teacher than the parents, I believe. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Life is the best teacher because circumstances and situations, a light bill for the first time. A car note for the first time or or, or or just having to try to apply. I'm going to have to go up and do an application. You start asking questions because you yeah. want to try to figure this out for real. Like, right. like, hey, man, you know, and you call and, and really daddy might be busy. Or mama might not be there. She might have passed away like mine. Mm-hmm. And you got to figure this out on your own. Fact. See, life is the really the big parent. That's the big brother. You know what I'm talking about? That's true. <laughs> so, That's so true. man, uh, I'm going to get into the music a little bit, man. Just um, when did you first find your love for, for like, uh, producing? We'll start there because that's kind of what... That's where you started with That's where you started. Right? Nah. No. You started music first? Yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. you was a singer? <laughs> 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 what did you do first so, in music? At the age of two. You know what I'm saying? Two? At the age of two, growing up in the church. In the church, right. Right, so my dad, once again... Playing the drums yeah, at the you, church. You did mention when that. I was old enough, you know what I'm saying. As a baby, he would take me in the car seat while he played in service. So when I was old enough to walk into church, I would walk all the way to the drum set and just sit there the whole service, even through Sunday Bible school when they not singing. You and know, you I didn't would, fall asleep? No, nah, I was just there, just sitting wow. there. You know what I'm saying? So one thing led to another. That's when I fell in love with the music, music. aspect. Once I got a little older, around like eight or nine, I saw Bow Wow on TV. Okay. Right? Bounce with me came out. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, dang, like, I ain't know a kid can do this. Yeah. So I went home and wrote my first rap in the bathroom. It was something about Raymond Noodles or something like that. That's cool. Raymond you Noodles will work. It was, it was that, something whatever. like that. You, you know gotta do it. So when I did that, it was, you know, it was dope, but I never stopped rapping. I always wanted to chase what I saw. So, you know, that was cool. Then I got in a group called the Pangea Kids, and then we went on 106 and Park. We went the Apollo. Uh, man, are you the second nigga that came on here? Yeah. We went on 106 and Park. Yeah. Let me go there for a minute, nigga. Come on, man. So, so Duro told me it didn't look like it. What it looked like on TV? Nah, not he at all. He said it, it, it's a. It looked like a, a. He said it's a little smaller set. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it, about it, big as this room Really And, and, sure. and he said But but it looked different on TV Because I used to watch it I yeah. seen uh, Michelle fall okay. When they, I need mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a soldier Where yeah, you got yeah, it I'm yeah. the hottest around Came out And I seen her fall And, and they sidestepped yeah. her You know yeah, yeah, really, I remember that I remember that I remember They didn't that. really right help over. her get up They Looked kept right it out yeah, kept and, going. Yeah. and she come back up and, and, But yeah. it was crazy But that That 106 and Park movement Man is gone mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. how was it Just being on set with uh, Who was you with You had to be with The younger ones You were the young ones you yeah. wasn't with AJ and Free. Nah, you nah. was with uh, 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 Roxy. Terrence J and Roxy. Roxy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was cool. Uh, Terrence J brought some shoes. Okay. From me, um, the shoes that I had on. It was the uh, Animal Animal Pack ninety fives. I believe I'm a real big sneakerhead. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We done interviewed them too. Yeah, we, you so, can't miss me. Yeah. So <laughs> you know he did. Um, it was cool. It was the same show as Lady Gaga. Okay, she that's was, big. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. on that show, and Ro Timmy was on okay. that same show. Yeah. Ro Timmy was on that show and us, and then Lady Gaga was like a, a guest host. So it was dope, you know and, what I'm saying? And you had to be young. I was young. Yeah. Like oh. real young. Like it was probably like right when I so probably like 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you know that's saying? young, man. Like 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 to be but to be able to see that that had to inspire you as well yeah, to dope. push you. Because that that was the, the hard work that we was putting in because before I left Florida and went to Tennessee. We had a little buzz in the city, you know what I'm saying? And then it kind of just stopped. But I was like, damn, I don't, at the time, we didn't know how to send vocals through the email. It yeah, was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, we, I didn't even know about Pro Tools back then. We was honestly off the, the, um, the, the, what's the, the, the big, the, the, the stereo, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like off tapes, you know what I'm saying? We would take the tapes to the spot and he'll put it on CD for us. That's dope. It wasn't mixed, it wasn't masked, but right. we had the song and it was doing what we was doing on some hustle and flow type of vibe. That builds, <laughs> that builds structure and integrity, man. Right. That, that makes you love your craft, too. Right. I think a lot of times the people who are doing it now is so easy and simplified exactly. you know, that they really don't really understand what's going on in the fact of respecting it the way mm. that they should yeah. because it's so fast. You can make, man, you can make music quick so, now. So easy. You know it what is saying? different than what it used to be. Facts. And you... 
the thing is back then you kind of like you said you appreciate the the whole process now you can you can record a song on your phone now. but it's hard yeah. for people who um were there back then and used to that that form of doing business and then now transform into this technology world some people can't transform and that's where they stay where they at you got people like snoop dog right right he evolved. Nigga know how to do times. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know how to evolve with yeah. the times. Cause or is either that or you gonna stay right where you at? Right. You know what a I'm lying? A lot saying? of people so, got left behind. But Jay Z, he evolved. He you he know to. he don't even mess with the Instagram and all Come that. On. But he knows. But he's not. And he don't go and buy and develop stuff. Yeah. He knows it needed. He really in tune with what's happening. And I think that's a lot of times the ones who excel yeah. because really that's the OGs to me. The ones who really creating a paved way for people to walk down Fact. instead of just sitting back talking about the youngsters. I don't get down with that. Yeah, most if you dope. ain't gonna show them how to come this way and show them how to jump, then then shut up about it. Because at the end of the day, we created a lot of the mess that we talk about. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So that's what being real and being older, you supposed to be able to understand where a person is at and then how to get them where they're going. That's a real troubleshooting technician mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. to help the youngster to make it through. So a lot of time they're just talking facts. and I don't get on with that. But do so, some of these people actually know how to do it or they just hire people to do it for them? No, no, it's a bunch of them to get technical. I, 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 I would think what you think. Yeah, most of I feel like a lot of times you got to have the know-how. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, once you get to a certain level, you can pay people to say, okay, look, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me go ahead and get, like like Jay-Z, I know for a fact he didn't make that Instagram page. Mm. It's no, his. No. You know what I'm saying? It's his, but he probably was like, nah, go ahead and get everything right how right. I need to and blah, blah, blah. But, man, when you are really tapped in, like, you really kind of got to be in them trenches and know exactly what's going exactly. on. Because when we interviewed Rick Ross, he would all, he said that you know, he Let's went, make it, now stop. Not Freeway Rick Ross. Freeway yeah. Rick Ross. We didn't get, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, I'll, I'll interview that nigga too, though. Yeah. But we didn't get that nigga yet. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he legendary said, Ricky. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. We, we got said, the nigga that's like me, Ricky. You know what I'm talking exactly. about? <laughs> the street Ricky, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Yo, but, he said, crazy. <laughs> but he said he went he would look for the top notch people in that field to hire them and have them work in that section. So if you're in technology, he would look for the best best one in technology right, most yeah. to go hire them to that do what he me. needed them to do. He doesn't Got tell to. you what he needed you to do and you just do it. But yeah. he'll pay you to do it. Yeah. Hey, money will get the job done. <laughs> for I, sure. I don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to pay you to do it and get it done. But there's a disadvantage at that. Because, again, when Carl Crawford came on the show, he said that when he started his business, he would hire people and had them do it. And that's how he got screwed because he didn't know, have the know-how of Watch what this. to do. I need you to go give me a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. You teach me how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't just do it for me. Teach you. Get me set up and yeah. then say, okay, well, how do I do this? Yeah. And where's the, how do I get my money from this? Da, yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not, I don't feel like it's a problem with having people do stuff for you, right? But you got to know how to do it as well. Exactly. That's it. So that's where you getting at. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me ask you about um, you and uh, when you first started producing beats, we're going to jump into that. Um, I know you produced beats, and when you did, mm -hmm. you didn't get your money. I heard, I seen, I heard a little <laughs> clip about right. it, how it happened, how it just sprung forth. Yeah. So let me know how you end up putting your music out there. Okay. And then basically, you know, damn, where my money? Damn, this thing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, in the beginning, that was I was in college, right? Okay. At the time, so the group broke up after one. Did you finish? Park. Yeah. Okay. What, what did you take up? Yeah, what nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga. What, what, what you think I took up? Probably a lot of business. business. That's what you niggas do, business. Engineering. Oh. <laughs> engineering. I was a history major. Oh, no. this nigga's all oh, really Same as Bone. That's Bone. Yeah. You didn't know that. Why history? Do you know? My parents. That's the same as Bone. You niggas trying to yeah. do history. Bone, the one night, yeah. you know, at six yeah. foot. Yeah, that, that, yeah. He, he did history. He did a master's in history. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what make y'all want to, you want to know who Martin yeah. Luther King is? No. Nah, <laughs> my parents, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad, he was a history major and he okay. went to school um, and did that. You know what I'm saying? So you just followed in. So I was just like, my mom too. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, they all want me to go to college. Like, the music can't work out, so you might as well. I was like, what am I going oh, to college Oh, they said it didn't work out. Right? You know like, they saying? already gave up on it. They was just like, yeah, you went far. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. <laughs> and I was just like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, man, I'm going to just go to college, but I don't know what I'm going for. And 
that's what it was. So just, let's talk about that music. How did you end up? How did that end up? In college, how did you end up saying, okay, um, I'm, I'm making some beats. Deep, some beats. Right. I was in a marching band, right? Okay. So What instrument? Snare drum. So okay. I'm a percussionist. So it never, the music never died inside of me. Mm. Okay. So, you know, being in, in school, you know, you got certain things that you get involved in. And I didn't have time to rap. Okay. So I was like, you know what? Let me just figure something out. You know what I'm saying? To just scratch that itch for music. So I downloaded FL Studio and I would be in the dorm room. I'd be in class and I'd just be making beats. And uh, my brother, he had brain surgery. He had a tumor on his okay. brain. And um, mm. so we down there for Christmas break again. Yeah. And, you know, he had a seizure. So okay. my, um, I think he had two. And my mom was like. He's blessed to still be here. Yeah, 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 most deaf, most deaf. So my mom was like, you know what I'm saying, he can't go upstairs because if he have a seizure right. and fall, his his skull was already, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it didn't heal mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. So he was downstairs and I was just watching him, making sure that, you know, nothing happened to him. So we were just sitting down on the couch and he was like, bro, you got to get a beat. This is guy named Kodak Black, bro. I was like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, trust me. Pull up to YouTube. You know how they be having like little street vlogs. He in Tallahassee. At the end of the video, it was an email. So I just emailed, you know what I'm saying, just to make him happy. I didn't think nothing was going to happen. So I go home to Tennessee. First day of class, my brother called me. Bro, Kodak Black hopped on the beat. I was like, nah. <laughs> so I go and look at the video. I'm like, nah. <laughs> so at this time, I'm like, I got to get paid. Mind you. Yeah. He wasn't Kodak Black. You All know what right. I'm saying? Like, he wasn't, he was just a regular, you know, local rapper at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I'm going to get at least $500. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, yeah. Some, I'm, in, I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? I was skinny then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm hungry. Like, bro, I don't know where I'm getting my food from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mom, dude. Yeah, I've been You there. know what I'm saying? My dad, I went to school in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So my dad was there, but. I ain't want to ask him for yeah, nothing because yeah. Yeah, he want you to get it on your you own. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Move on, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, I ain't even finna ask this, man. You feel me? So <laughs> I'm like, man, all right, I cool. like your dad already. Yeah, for sure. Because that's what life will do to you. He, he, he looking like now, life. If I was down now, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, I'd be like, hey, pause, I'm finna pull up and yeah. mm -hmm. grab something to eat or something. You know what I'm saying? No, you can always come, but you gotta go. Yeah, I like you know that. Nigga he like got me, me a crib. Nigga, that nigga you know telling you the truth, nigga. He got me a nice little crib to stay in. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Look, but you got to pay six hundred dollars a semester because mm -hmm. he brought the house, That's so dope. it wasn't nothing." He was like, "A semester. If anybody knows about semesters, mm -hmm. it's like five months." Right. Yeah. He was like, "Look, get your financial aid. You know what I'm saying? Pay whatever bills you got to pay, but he goes six hundred dollars. Oh, uh, give me six hundred dollars a semester." So you have some type of bills. That nigga right. You know what I'm saying? You. Responsibility. I like it. So I was like, all right, cool. So I get up there. Next day go. The second day, he put out another song with my beat. Damn, I'm like, oh, I'm finna get paid. Thank you, man. This right? Nigga, yeah. Two, three days later go by. Friday come I would think that around. you wouldn't get paid because you gave him that beat. Oh, you emailed oh, him oh. that beat. No. You got, there was no you. agreement. Yeah, but still, like, let, let me tell you how the industry work, though. Right? You go in the studio, right? You give me a beat. It's no guarantee that you gonna hop on it. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may record it. I got 800 songs on my phone. That don't mean any of these are coming out. So I can't pay you for something that ain't that I'm not putting out because you may get this beat to you, mm -hmm. you, 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 and whoever put it out first and get that paperwork done. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. So that's my beat until we money get exchanged and paperwork gets that's signed. That's right. So, mm -hmm. Zay's hope, Zay's hope and talk about that a lot. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Zay. He always answers some yeah. DMs. I like for that. sure, for sure. I remember I saw um, so sick um, with uh, Gorilla Zo and then Papers with Usher. They used the same beat. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I never understood how that worked, but hey, first come, first serve. So Zay told me it was like Usher got it. You know what I'm saying? But Gorilla Zo was like, I'm still gonna put it out. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right because I don't because Jamaican culture. Yeah. They'll do rhythm. They call it beats rhythms, mm -hmm. and everybody will hop on it. 
Yeah, the but same it one. sounds so different. Everybody take it and make it their own. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why nobody here really does that. It's like well, this y'all is be your stealing beat. a lot of American beats too. We Whatever. No, 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 no. We don't talk about that. You niggas they we always steal a beat from America. A little man. Jamaican rhythm into yeah, y'all's beats. So don't even go there. Thing. Don't I ain't go gonna there. go there, nigga. I know what they're doing. Mm-mm. They re- yeah, they remixing the hell out of American uh, beats. You want me to go back to where hey, rap started? Let's get back to double A. Okay. It did start in Jamaica. I had Y'all this all crazy, dog. <laughs> Go ahead, Dale. Let, yeah, let's so, talk about it. So, yeah, man. So, three beats come out. Three songs come out. So, I said, let me just call this number that was in that same video. Call the video. Hello? Hey, how, y- how y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Um, I just saw Kodak, you know, right. drop three songs. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get paid. Oh, you ain't get paid? Who is this? Double A. Double A. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Let me get right back to you. That's pimp. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hang up the phone. I'm like, all right, cool. He ain't got back to you. Man. I never got a phone call back. Did they block you? Nah, they ain't blocked me. Okay. <laughs> so about a week, nah, called back. Hello? Yo, who is this? Yo, I called about a week ago about the beats. Oh, no, nah, you, you still ain't talked to Kodak? I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet. That was that 2015. That probably was Kodak you talking to. Nah, nah, it was a female. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 2015 happened. I still ain't never get a call back. Wow. And I don't even think... But I've talked to that person and, of course, that whole camp since then. But I don't think that they even remember that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to just take that as an L. You know what I'm saying? It was I. I still never got monetized on it, on those three songs at all. Never. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I get uh, a comment under my picture, Kodak comment. He was like, bro, everything you send it hard, DM me. <laughs> So I DM him. sending it, nigga. It's free too. Man, I DM to him. <laughs> I DM, bro. Let me see. I DM, bro, and it had to be 2015. Yeah. He ain't respond until February 2021. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, dang, he ain't never respond. So I got a phone call one day from another producer. He was like, hey, Kodak told me to give you his number. This is 2015. I'm like, bro, I DM'd you. He was like, I ain't never see it. I was like, all right, cool. So well, I got your number now, so I don't care about the DM. So we chopping it up. He was like, nah, send me some more stuff. So in the, in between time, you know, he get locked up. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking on the phone, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting money on his books, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's all love, you know what I'm saying? Not money on his books. I brought him a couple books, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I ain't had no money, so I had to call my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I had to call my cousin, like, cuz. Can you, you know what I'm saying, like, buy this book and send it to this place right here, whoop the whoop, blah, blah, blah. And um, we built a relationship, and it was, you know what I'm saying, like, dope. We did a lot of big records, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. Slade, the, the Boosie record, the the um, vibing in the bit with Gucci, man, uh, Everything 1K. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we really, like, that was, like, the turning point So it for came full circle, really, you know anyway. Mm-hmm. So that's when, when we did the first project, I got paid. But I like that because a lot of times people think that they're going to get the money up front, but yeah. you got to put that work in too. Yeah, and I, and I, I don't, I don't knock no situation that teaches me Facts. because you going through something that's giving you, it's stretching you. Facts. You learning a lot of things as you trying to figure it out. Right. I tell people this all the time. You going to get the L. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to get the L. Nobody is exempt from taking the L. It's just whenever you take it, will it, will it be a small L or will it be the big L? Yeah. Give me my L in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So I know, like, okay, God, I took the L. Yeah. Now it's time for me to go ahead and do what I got to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. thankfully, I took that L in the beginning. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So That's now good. I kind of know how to maneuver because mm-hmm. them records was, they was cool. You know what I'm saying? But that was in the beginning of his career. Once he kind of took off, I started getting paid, and I kind of knew the game, and knew I knew game. what to do. So it was cool. Got your foot in the door. Definitely. Yeah, I, that's that's a, that's really what it did. That I was like worth it. more than the money. Exactly. So now, let me ask you. I want to. I want to. Uh, that's a dope story. But let me ask you about NBA Young Boy because that's the one that I don't know how you guys' relationship is. The way he be looking at the camera when you see him. <laughs> the way he looks. <laughs> the way the nigga look versus yeah. the way the nigga rap versus yeah. who the nigga is. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole bunch of things going on with that for yeah. me. Now I listen. Look, I. I remember we was going to Chicago and I listened to his whole, you know, the whole way I listened to number NBA. I, yeah. I probably heard a bunch of your beats to be oh, honest yeah, with sure. you. Cause I was just listening to young boy and I was like, dang, this dude dope. But then when I see him, I'm like, damn, 
could I talk to this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, well, yeah, how did yeah, y'all yeah. how did you guys even meet or how did y'all even lock, you know, hook up? Man, shout out to DJ Swift. So I was in college. Okay. In class, get a phone call from him, right? Ring. Hey Doug, you in class? I was like, yo, I'm in class, what's up? He was like, step outside. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I step outside. He was like, bro, this guy named NBA Young Boy, he hard. I'm like, bro, I don't know who this is, bro. You know, he's from Baton Rouge. He hard, bro. He really like what you doing. So I'm like, all right, bet. At the time, I go on this page, he had 3,000 followers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like work. Like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? By the time me and him had the same amount of followers. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? So I go look at his music. I'm like, it sound like some like vintage like Louisiana bootsy mm -hmm. webby. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I'm going to make the beat. So I go right back in class, right? Put my headphones on. This all you hear. So I get stopped. Oh, uh, Mr. Lockhart. Well, they actually, they call me Miami in school. Miami, even professors too, Miami. I'm like, huh? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh. Assignment. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> writing notes. They was like, no, because we can hear the music in the headphones. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you're not going to be nothing in life by clicking on this laptop. <laughs> I was like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the most embarrassing thing. Like, you ain't going to be nothing in life clicking on that laptop thinking that the music going to take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I'm a history major, so I ain't in no music class. I'm like, mm -hmm. I know he don't understand what I'm doing. So I'm like, all right, get out of class. Email to beat the DJ Swift. The next day, not even 12 hours later, video out, all my, almost had a million views. Woo. So... That's I called Swift like, hey man, tell young boy, hey, let's do it again. He was like, all right. So he was like, young boy said, call him. So young boy called me with the little face. Hey, say. You know what I'm saying? He like, hey. He like, hey, say. Okay. Like, everything mm -hmm. you seen it hard, you hear me? Everything you seen it, you hard, gangster. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He was like, hey, keep sending that fire, you hear me? Let's go up. I'm like, all right, bet. He do you a good, yeah, like he do a good impersonation. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sending the records or whatnot. I get a phone call from young boy. He was like, hey, say, gangster, where you at? I'm like, man, I'm in Tennessee. He was like, I need you to come to uh, come to L.A. So I get ready to go to L.A. I bring the whole team I got with me. Whole team come to L.A. And uh, one thing led to another. A.I. Young Boy comes out, and we did almost 80 percent of that album wow and that was like the beginning because i didn't i never met him we would always talk on the phone hmm. duh what you think about this this hard you rock with this blah blah, blah. i'm like yeah, yeah for sure and we built that relationship and that camaraderie with each other and then everything was just like it was just up you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like and then we one night um our ain't too long came out okay that album so we going through, it's like midnight, we in Atlanta, right? Me, Mike, Laura, the whole team. So we in the hotel, we got one big suite, right? We was still broke, we was kinda, <laughs> we was kinda getting a little oh, bit yeah, of money, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? So see you. We was like, man, we got a little suite, you know what I'm saying? But all eight of us, we gonna sleep in this room. Some people hit the floor, some people get in the bed. We got the little sofa bed, we gonna thug it out like that. So 12 o'clock come around, young boy dropped the album. Number one, okay, that's us. Everybody sleep but me. I'm up. Of course. Number two. Okay, that's us. Three. That's us. Four. That's us. Mm. Five. That's us. Six. That's us. Seven. That's <laughs> us. Hold on. Let me just. Maybe I'm tripping. Wow. Maybe I'm half sleep. Uh -huh. All eight songs was us. I was wow. like, yo. That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So that was like the turning point of like double A and this is the sound having like that whole household name because people knew from the Kodak, mm -hmm. but our relationship like, or the music kind of stopped and it wasn't because of Kodak. It was because of jail and stuff, the, wasn't it? No, the no. label. The mm -hmm. label, really? The label was like. But did they, they tripped out? They was like, yo, yo Kodak, man, you know, double A's hard, but you know, it's other producers that can turn you up. And Kodak was like, nah, like I'm gonna rock with who I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? And then he did got one record and it went viral on Instagram and I guess you know what I'm saying the label was like nah let's go in a different direction which is cool you know what I'm saying it's all love you know what I'm saying but you know we just kind of just yeah locked in somewhere else you know what I'm saying at the time but everything has its expiration the evolution date. you in know and what I'm saying how long did it take between Kodak and NBA 
Like to meet to from like, yeah for, for the beat going here and then him contacting you. How yeah, many? Like the different the, the yeah the relationship. Like oh, the relationships. Yeah. They they was like they was, they was running was hand in hand right because Kodak was in jail at the time. Okay. So like it just happened like. I don't because I know you were in college at both times. Yeah, so, so it I never was stopped. Trying to figure you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay. it was like Kodak was happening, and then that happened at the same time. But then things kind of got a little funny. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, all it's favor, man. Yeah. I know that's what I was about to say. That's dope a blessing. Favor, it just, it just yeah, came like dope. that. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you and then you dope like like but your work ethic again. Yeah. I always go back to work ethic because yeah. your work ethic is what's gonna. Make everything happen is you keep working. Look how fast yeah. you just jump right on it. Yeah. That ain't, no, ain't normal, nigga. That's Facts. a gift. Facts. Where did the name come from? Double A. Mm -hmm. So of course my name's Aaron. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's where Double A comes from. Mm -hmm. But it's spelled different because when I went to copyright my name the regular way D O U B L E dash A was already taken. Mm -hmm. So I was like I can't copyright that. So how I'ma spell it? You know what I'm saying? I gotta spell it different. Mm -hmm. So. That name is really like a a converse, conversational starter. Like, is it Duba? Ah ah ah. You know what I'm saying? Is it Duba? Is it? You know what I'm saying? So Duba A A. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a dope way to, you know what I'm saying, to have people talking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will talk. Like, how do you say it before? Because yeah, I, say I was it messing it up, but he said it right. Off the rip. Yeah, yeah, most do. So, so I was like, yeah. but it makes sense. Yeah. Well, I've been Double watching, and, watching yeah. and looking him up and seeing yeah. what me and said. I'm listening and looking and trying to make sure yeah, most that do. we, uh, you know, definitely don't leave nothing mm -hmm. out. You and know? did it come out in college? The, that, the name? Nah, so my cousin gave me that name when we was kids. So when I was in the group, right, before we was in the group, shout out to Chris the Great. And um, <laughs> my name, she was like, I'm going to call you. She was joking. I'm going to call you Double A. I was like, cool. I stuck with it, and then she was like, "I'm gonna call his little uh, her little brother. I'm gonna call you CeeLo." She was joking, you know what I'm saying? We thought we didn't know who CeeLo was at the time, so it was Double A and CeeLo, and then we realized it was like CeeLo, like from Dungeon Family CeeLo. So he had to change his name to H2O because he flows like water. Then that didn't <laughs> stick, you know what I'm saying? Man. Then he went to Chris the Great, you know what I'm saying? But I always kept. My name, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I just had to, later on, like, once I kind of got some money, I had to copyright, copyright my name. It. And that's what I came up talk, with. Let's talk a I little like bit it. about Double A Day. Yeah. Um, what what that means to you and just kind of how that all came about. Double A Day is honestly probably one of my most prized days because it's on my birthday, one. Double A Day is definitely on my birthday. Check it, man. Money Moses in the building, oh, man. We oh, give him a grand go. entry, my nigga. The nigga go. come late, but he, hey, but he here. Hey, that's, that's all that matters. That's my co-host right there, man. Don't play, man. That's he all really that matters. He love the music, yeah. too. And I appreciate from, that. He from Louisiana, so. Okay. You yeah, know, at the end of the day, man, I just got to make that announcement every time. Nah, nah, show for up sure, late, for nigga. Sure. Everybody know the nigga was late. I try yeah. to make sure they know that. Nah, you know, know this that nigga bro. might yeah. just show up any time. You know? Hey, that's all that matters. <laughs> ain't never let him go, though, nigga. Don't yeah. think he ain't going to have a job. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be here. I'm my keys in the car. So got what? It. Yeah. Wow, that nigga is wanting to meet you, bro. His yeah, kids man, in the car, in. nigga. Stop we playing. In, man, That's why sure. you hear a nigga. Hey, you go hard for the kids too. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have kids, yeah. so you you know. So I, I just want to know about this, no, like the double A day, like just um um when when it came about and, and and I know you talked about the book I heard you talk about the backpacks and just mm -hmm. doing and that's what really matters man cuz that's really important to be able to give back most people Most's you know good. they don't understand that that's how you really really start to grow Facts. you know anytime you see people that's done made it to the top man you're going to hear about like like my boy Robert Smith y'all don't know but he in Austin Texas let me go and just plug that in richest black man in America really to me okay. Robert he played paid that money at Morehouse for all okay. kids yeah stop playing he in Austin Texas so what I'm saying is giving back is real important. It's big. It, it makes you go up further and further. So I loved when I heard that about you. Yeah, man, it's, it's something that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Just because being in South Florida, we don't really have too many entertainers. We got a lot of football players, Matt Elam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the Elams. And, you know what I'm saying? I went to school with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like Scotty Barnes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He just came in the league. You know what I'm saying? And, it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, Jacoby Brissett, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I literally, like, rub shoulders with these guys, like, as a youngin, okay. you know what I'm saying? But they give back in a different way. So I know a, a lot of kids want to be entertainers, too. So 
to see myself in them. You know what I'm saying? When I give back, I give the 500 to 1,000 book bags, free wow. haircuts, free food. I have a funded family initiative. That's dope. Because I know when my dad left, you know what I'm saying? My mom, she had to go to school. You know what I'm saying? She had to had two jobs and I was, you know, she, she was kind of struggling. So like every year I have a raffle where I go in there, whoever got the ticket, I pay your rent for one month. You know what wow. I'm saying? So I do little stuff like that and I have a, a contest as well where the third place winner gets uh two fifty. Okay. Second place winner get five hundred, first place winner get a thousand, and they come to wherever I'm at and have a studio session with me. I take them out wow. to dinner and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just to let them know like whatever you aiming for is possible. It's you know possible. What, what made you start doing all of that? What made me start doing that? Yeah. Honestly, the music is gonna stop at one point, right? Nothing lasts forever. So I want my legacy. That's what I'm doing it for right now. Everything that I'm doing is about legacy. You know what I'm saying? Once I'm gone, what will stand? You know what I'm saying? Like you got people like DJ Screw. Yeah. Like his legacy is forever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do I want to be known for? You know what I'm saying? Not just the nigga who got the chains and the teeth and all of that. I want to be able to have double A day every year on my Dope. birthday. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. people can know like, well, he came from here. He did this, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with going to school and, you know, being a part of different organizations and, and doing certain little things. You know what I'm saying? I, I do stuff for my my last name now. Do you, have a double, do you have a double A day on the same day every day? I mean, every year? Every year. Yeah, well, it all depends. You know, the days kind of change. Fall, yeah. But, like, like this year is going to be on the 23rd. That's the Saturday. My birthday on the 24th. So... Last year was on the 24th, but now it's going to be on the 23rd. Uh, so I think you should keep it on one day, one specific day. So when they know that day come around, they know you coming. But let me ask you this, though. What if it's on a Wednesday? Yeah. It don't matter. It's what you, your, your legacy. Okay. That's what you're saying is your legacy. So keep it on your legacy. It don't matter what day it is. Your legacy, you came for that day, that day only. Well, it is in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> it is in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's kind of hard when people got jobs. And, you That's know why what you make it during the evening. Like, it don't matter. People don't have a job regardless. But it's like, a whole day, though, yeah, right? It's, it's a, a whole, whole, whole day. Trade day. Got, trade got, day the same way in Houston. I got in the keys to two cities. So I do one, you know, it's kind of like, you know, being in Atlanta and then okay. on the outskirts of Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I go to one part half of the day and then I do the other half, the, the, the big concert in the main city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's the only problem. You know what I'm saying? That's the only problem. But I think it's out. dope that you even doing it, man. That's a big deal for me. Like yeah. that's the whole game when you get to a certain level, man. You got to be able to show that, hey, man, you care about what goes on with who's coming behind you for, for sure and what's going on in the community. Thanks. So um, I'm going to ask you about your music, man. Because lately you've been, you you know, you've been, you just decided I'm going to get on the damn mic myself. I got one more thing about got, that, though. About the trade? Yeah, oh, okay. on that. So it's, if you're going to do that, then to have them, like, if you're going to have it in, in January, I mean, like, I'm just saying, just for instance, yeah. if you're going to have it in January, make sure you have it, like, like on the third, that third Saturday every January. You can do that. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but it's in, it's in, it's in July. the summer. It's yeah, in July. July. So you have what, it July, July what? 24th. Nigga, I might come, nigga. Yeah, you got My to. My wife's birthday on the 23rd, mine on the 26th. See what I'm saying? Nigga, we both, yeah, pull we'll up. pull up. Nigga, don't yeah. play, nigga. Don't invite yeah. us to, don't, don't tempt at? us yeah, with Leo, a good time, show, right? Yeah, yeah. Where at? <laughs> hey, where at? Uh, uh, no, it's, Palm Beach, it's in Florida. Florida. Uh, yeah. We might be there, though. You yeah. know that? Because we, we Look, he like, man, I'm trying to, yeah. Yeah, we'll pull up, though, for real. You don't like Florida. I ain't liking that one. He didn't like. He went to what visit. Part, you didn't. He didn't meet you down there, nigga. That's why. You don't know what know part know where it was, I went, bro. That's how I don't. Where you on, probably went to like Coco or something. I don't know where I went, bro. You know listen, I've been in so many places in the past couple months. I've been getting. I've been. Getting, that nigga got that bro. money, nigga. Oh, that nigga stunned yeah, on us yeah, now, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. That's, I made that money on everything. That nigga stunned on us. Like I remember ain't that good, man. I remember not that good. I don't went everywhere, but I don't remember where I was at. Sorry. <laughs> that's, I can't afford that's money, money Moses, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just I don't. I mean, my memory that good, so I don't really be caring about certain stuff. Yeah, he really. Yeah. And I be calling nigga, stay out of trouble, nigga. Please, I need you to stay out of trouble. Yeah. That's what I be telling the nigga. Make it home. I ain't gonna stay out of trouble. <laughs> I always stay out of trouble. Trouble always find me. I ain't never uh, seen a nigga. I'm not gonna make this about you. I ain't never seen a nigga stay out of trouble, but always calling from jail. This is just don't make <laughs> sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they, I'm gonna tell you why. Like, like, every, every time we not gonna do this, the, man. The, the, the last kind of last four. Probably the last four or five times with the jail. Ah, it's, it's because I was helping somebody else. That's my goal. This is yeah. how I go down. I was helping somebody else, though. It wasn't because of me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't need that help. 
<laughs> but I can't tell you what it was, but I, I didn't need the help. They need the help, so I'm like, hey, you need the money for the music. This is yeah. this how we do when you ain't here. Yeah. I just let you in on a little like, bit. The, 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 the one mouth. My my heart just too good to let the nigga just suffer. So I'm like, I'm nah, not, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna give you no money, but for him to get it. No, nah, that's real. Yeah, I've been in the Anyway, love by any means necessary. Let me let me get to this, man. Let me let me let me talk about the song. I seen the one with you a little bow while. I see you made the reference earlier about little bow while. Was that important to make that feature happen? Yeah, it, you I see got what I'm saying? Because it makes sense legacy, when you said that. Legacy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a certain things on my bucket list. I got to, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. scratch off. Like, I told myself I, I got to get a Grammy, at least four, right? Wow. Once I get that, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm done with music. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because I got other goals and aspirations. Why a Grammy, though? Why the Grammy? Yeah. It's like a Super Bowl. Yeah, it sure is. It's like you playing in the NFL for nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody trying to get that. The highest of the high, you know that's what I'm saying? White so, folks Super Bowl. call it wow. what you want. That's what we got to go with. That's that's yeah, a that's foundation. A, yeah, that's just what it is. We got you know credit. We got credit on. We have to do better, but we, we ain't there on, yet. Bro. Yeah, we ain't there yet. You but know let, what let me let, let me get that story though. Like, let me let me understand how Bow Wow and you how did, how did you made that happen? You know, because like I said, that ain't easy if you, unless you've yeah. been knowing a nigga. Nah, nah. So what happened was shout out to my cousin Sport. He worked in this building. Okay. Right? So. In Midtown, anybody know about Atlanta? Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of high rises. I stayed literally, probably like two houses away from bro, like two buildings. Really? So I and I never knew this knew the it. whole time. So I was like, I my cousin came over and I played the record. He was like, man, that's all hard. I was like, yo, yeah, man, like, man, I need to get Bow Wow on this. He was like, bro, I know Bow Wow. I was like, what? He was like, yo, bro, like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna link y'all up. I'm like, all right, whatever, bro. Like, you don't know Bow Wow. Man, the man called me two days later. FaceTime, I'm like, because, you know, I'm, I forgot all about it. <laughs> yo, I answered the phone. Bow Wow's face was in the, in the camera. I was like, I'm like, yo, what up? He like, yo, man, send me that record. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's work, man. Wow. Shoot, shoot me a DM. Woo -woo -woo. So we did that record on like a Monday. You know what I'm saying? He sent it back on a Wednesday. And then we shot the video on a Friday. You know what I'm saying? It was that quick. Wow, bucket list. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just scratching. Who everything. next? Bro, Wayne. You going to get Wayne? I got it. Uh, yeah, nigga, we going to get by that the, nigga. By the time this air, that song probably done came out. So Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah, that's like top secret, though. So, you know so how, I mean? but can we talk about a little bit? By the time this air, you right, it's going to, but man, shout out Hot Boy Turk. You know what I'm really? saying? Like he, I reached out to Turk, nigga. You you know I want you on the show. Don't play with me. And I call you know Turk right <laughs> now, man. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Yeah, not you know what we got to get this out yeah, the way. So, but. so I, I did a record called Mm-hmm, right? And okay. it was um, a remake of the I'm the number one stunner, uh, right? Yeah. So, you know, remade the beat. You know what I'm saying? I, I did it, and I was like, bro, I got to get the original Hot Boys on this. You know what I'm saying? So I called Turk. You know what I'm saying? Because I did a couple records for Turk. He sent it right back. You know what I'm saying? I really want Manny Fresh on him. You oh, know what I'm man. saying? If I can get Manny Fresh and have Wheezy and, and Turk, it's going be hard. down. You know what I'm saying? But if I do that, I got to get Juvie. You, you know what I'm saying? You try having to get a song six, nigga. Not a song, a six minute song. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I was like, man, who can I get? You know what I'm saying? So them two boys, they blessed me. You know what I'm saying? Just wow. because of the work ethic, like you said. The you know work what I'm ethic, something else, man. So that's it. That's it. And, and, and so you say, Wayne, did he send it right back? Yo, you, Wayne a workhorse. Bro. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Like, it's on. You know boy, you listen, boy, you talking that talk, man. Everybody can't say they got a song with this nigga. Especially in this day and time. When that's I tell not you, easy to do. Yeah, when I when that. I tell you, bro, this phone right here got so much. Like, this is a, a billion dollar phone. Because I, I got know. verses, I got beats, I got man, look. These two, they cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this phone right here, this is the number I've been having since I was like eight. Oh, damn, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So that's why people ask me, why, why you got three phones? I was yeah, like, I, bro, I, I'm, I can't get rid of this number. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I met a lot of people on this phone. Like, people that I, I haven't talked to in the industry, like, they'll still call this number because they don't have these. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Or they'll DM me. But this is like my business slash family. Like, if I know you, like, you can get that number. number. Get, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. But this so right I ain't getting no he number. I'm talking to Sean and I'm, uh, you know, all your people. Yeah, I'm getting your damn number. Yeah, we you locked in. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but get, that, just tell me your top three artists of all time, man, dead or alive. Any genre. Any genre. Number one. Mike. 
Michael Jackson. Are you serious? For sure. Everybody say Mike, but some niggas, I ain't going to say your name today, nigga, but one nigga said Chris Brown was better than Mike. What? Hey, I'm just saying, what? this stuff get crazy in here. <laughs> but number two. Stevie Wonder. Boy, you a dope dude, man. You going in, nigga. You a, bro, you, you got to understand, again, bro. Watch it's out, real, nigga. Like, bro, I t you see, I come in with a band. Yeah, like, you like really music, do music. You know what I'm saying? Like, this different, bro. Like, wow. We, ain't got, we got a Stevie Wonder? Nope. Bro, I don't even listen to rap, bro. That's dope, man. Number three. Probably Wayne. Dang, that's dope. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it, man. Yeah. Because he the reason, like, Bow Wow is the reason that I started rapping, right? Wayne is the reason that I fell in love with, with the it. whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wanted to be Wayne so bad, bro. You know what man. I'm saying? That boy say Michael Jackson. That Steve boy say Stevie Wonder and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Facts, man, top bro. three artists of all time, man. For sure. So, um, I, I just say, man, you keep doing what you're doing, man. Appreciate I thank you that. for coming to see us today, man. And uh, I'm going to be following you, bro. And like I said, on that day, yeah. the double A day, you gotta, we gonna be, we going to be yeah, going back and forth. Because because sure. That way, that that way I'm going to fly up, me and my wife. You ain't going to like it, bro. No, nah, he gonna man, he, he don't like it if I'm with him. I people. wasn't with him yeah. on all these trips, but when he go with me, we yeah. have a good time. Man, listen, uh -huh. listen, I don't like hanging around. Uh, I like hanging around people like me, but like this. Well, them street niggas, they locked up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's like I gotta, I gotta have that. I gotta have. I gotta. It's like I gotta feel it. I gotta have a street nigga with me, and yeah. I gotta have somebody that's gonna keep me calm too. <laughs> no, you good. That's me. Yeah. I, if I'm yeah, with him, he gonna have a good time. But you're not gonna stay out three, four. No, I'm not going out like that. Me, me you gonna do that? <laughs> see what I'm, saying? I, I, I'm not going out dead. like that. No, I, I, but that's him, man. Yeah. But no, man. So, so, man. I thank you for coming on the show again, man. Like I said, anytime you're in Texas, or if I'm in uh, Atlanta, or Florida, yeah. wherever, I'm gonna tap in, man. Tap in. I'm gonna be watching what's going on, man. Did we miss anything? Man, all I need, man. The single, all I need. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It's out now. It came out February 25th. Already. We almost at 200K in like six, six days. You know what I'm saying? And it really just tap in with like who I am. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in the church. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with that. But then it got the street. You know what I'm saying? The street trap drums. You know what I'm saying? The lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Kind of different. You know what I'm saying? But y'all just got to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with me for sure. I got to ask you this one thing before you get off this panel. All right. I've been looking at why uh, NBA young boy Gucci and all these people going, this song that he sent out, yeah. that man, it, it went crazy. Yeah. And uh, now it's some back and forth, man. Uh, would, you, I, would you produce beats for uh, you want me a to be beat? Honest? Let's be real. Let's be clear. I don't listen. I don't even know what you're talking so about. So you won't even listen to nobody's music? I, bro, I... If it ain't old, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be influenced by anybody. Anybody. So you, you know don't even saying? check it out. No. But bro. I was just going to ask you, like, would you make, you wouldn't know if you was making a beat for, a, you don't a, know. A, for, for some pe people that yeah. were going back and forth. Nah, because a lot of times, you know, when people be on the mood, they send me a pack. You, you don't even know what's going on. Whatever it is, it is. You know what I'm saying? But wow. It is. Because you know, people be wanting you to pick it, sides and beats, like, bro. It's different from him because, like, he behind the scenes. He, he behind, like, no, he but like he, in front of like that. He could know? be in a place. So yeah. so he getting more, He he because he's doing music now. Yeah, yeah, so so sure. you around different groups of people. Most and, and anything can happen at any time, man. I just say, I'm going to show you love while you're here. Keep God first, bro. Um, if it's any way you can create peace within any realm you in, make sure that that's what you do and be a part of. And if you need me, nigga, I'm pulling up. Come on, Straight man. up, man. Easy. Double A, man. The building, man. Hey, man, it's been Straight another up. great segment of Boss Talk 101.